basically because he went against the people's wishes and I was pleased to see that. I saw a lot of people on his Facebook page saying that. But anyway, my friend that's a political scientist, when I mentioned, I said, we need to fire Bo Terry, he said that we've got over, the, the likelihood is 93% against the fact that we could do that. And I'm sure you, we all know that, but I just want to make sure that I was able to say that today. Because two years ago, when Bo Terry was put in office, it was pretty depressing to me, especially when you voted for health care. And you know, I've, since then, I've taken, I've been going to school up in uh, Cuyahoga County at the college there. I've taken a um, political science class and I just took a local and state class. And all, you know, the incumbents are very hard to replace. But we just replaced one and it's, um, um, you know, that, that's a pretty good feat. And just the fact that that happened is, you know, I understand this is a Republican, you know, district. Uh, he was the first Democrat in a while, but you know, I think that's pretty cool. And the fact that, you know, John Cherry, he's a veteran, good dude, but one thing he did wrong, he voted against the people's wishes. And I saw that all over the place, and I think that's what we need to hold all the politicians for. And, uh, so, anyway, I just wanted to say that. Very good. Thank you. Um, Monday night. Right. It's, it's in Walsh, Walsh University at Walsh. And uh, so it's our responsibility to go in there and support him. Seven to eight. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, we got that posted on our website, didn't we? Yeah, we got that posted on our website. And there's uh, one other uh, scheduled conflict. I don't remember what the other group was.